So if you want to find your files here on your Mac, there's a really easy way to do this using something called Spotlight. And there's a couple of ways you can access it. One is to go into this magnifying glass here at the top of your screen. And if you click on that, you'll get this Spotlight search come up. I'm not going to search just yet because I'm going to show you the other way that you can do this as well. I'm just going to press Done so that I come out of it or Escape. The other way to do this is to press Command and the space bar on the keyboard and it comes up here. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it might come up with more information below telling you what you can search for. So I'm just going to go into the Spotlight Preferences so you can see what your options are. Now, you can get to your preferences using the dock. Down the bottom here is System Preferences, or you can go into the Apple menu and choose System Preferences here. Both work. And over here, you'll see it's got Spotlight. And if I click on that, you'll see here all the things it will search for. Applications, bookmarks and history, calculator contacts, you name it. There'll also be websites. And you may not want to search for all of these. So you can see it's got mail. And you can actually specify what documents you want, like PDFs, just documents, spreadsheets, and so on. Let me just close that. And I'm going to use my command and space on the keyboard. And I'm just going to type something in like BBC, because I know I've got a couple of files called BBC. And you'll see when it's searching for everything, it's actually got the BBC home. And if I was to click on that, if I, let's just click on it. And you'll see it will open up Safari and take me to the BBC website. Let's just close that. I'm just going into Safari menu and quit Safari. Let me press this command and space bar again. And it has remembered what I had just searched for. And you could just use the backspace or escape to clear that. So further down, you'll see I've got an image here. You'll see it's found things like news, suggested websites, definitions, which is like the dictionary on here. And you'll see it's got the Siri knowledge and it's coming up with BBC Wikipedia. And then it's just got a whole load more here. I could choose search in Finder or search the web. And if I do search the web, it's going to open up Safari. If I click search in Finder, it's going to give me more options. So there was one image that came up before. Now it's showing both of them. And you'll see that the search bar is at the top here. So you could just type in there and it comes up and you'll see it does that. So what you can do here is actually narrow down your search using criteria. And you'll see on this bar here, I've got a plus. So let's just click on that. Now, the first thing you'll see is it comes up with kind and you can change it to last open date, last modified date, created name contents. We're going to come back and have a look at that. But kind, I'm going to choose from here, image. And it's showing me those images there. I could narrow it down to just JPEGs, TIFFs, GIFs, GIFs, PING, BNP, and HEIC as well. But what if I wanted to narrow it down by date? So I've got the BBC there. Let me just get rid of that. And what it's now going to do is show me all of the images. So I'm going to change that to JPEG. So it picks up only the JPEG images. And you can see I've got some here that are in 2022, some in January, some in March. Let me show you how you can narrow this down. I can add more criteria by just clicking the plus sign. And here I could choose last open date. I've got modified date. Let's go for created date. And you can choose within the last, say, one day. Nothing there. What about if I choose seven days? Ah, there's some in there. So you can do that. You can tell it whether it's weeks, months or years. So let's do within the last year and we get more there. You can also choose to do it after a particular date. And you could also add in before a particular date so you can narrow it down to a range. So let's just do that. So I could do after and you can you can see there are quite a few options here and you can just try these out. But you'll get the idea when you see this. So you'll do after, and I could put in a date here, like the 1st of January 2022. And you'll see it's just picking up 
any of those. It's actually picking them up, up off my iCloud as well. So there we have it. Now, if I wanted to narrow it down to just say the first month, and it doesn't have to be a month, it could be any date. I'm going to click here. Let's go to create a date again. Let's go to before. So let me change this to 31st of, and obviously if you're in say somewhere like America, this would be in month, day, year order. And there you can see it. I've now narrowed it down even more. So as you can see, this is quite useful for narrowing down, trying to find what you're looking for. I'm going to close this because one of the things I might have wanted to do right at the start was actually specify I was only looking for particular files and that's in the system preferences. So let's go into there. Let's go into spotlight so we see the preferences in there and I could now go through and untick the ones I'm not interested in. So as you can see it picks up contacts. I could pick up events which is in my calendar. I don't want that. So I'm interested in documents. I don't need to know fonts. I might want that. You could look through your mail messages like this, but you can search within messages. Let's just turn these off. So I'm just looking for things like PDFs, spreadsheets, documents, and images. So now, when I go to here and choose BBC, so this time you can see it's narrowed it down. It's got the images, it's got some text files as well because I asked it for documents and PDFs. But if you remember, it had a lot more before. So I've really managed to narrow it down just by adjusting this in my preferences. And I could easily just go back into my preferences and switch them on and off depending on what I need at that particular time. So just one other thing, when you've done a search, you can see where your file is by clicking on the file and then down at the bottom of the search window, you can see the path. So it's showing you tutorials, documents, photos, and then the name of the file in this instance, which is bbc.jpg. So there you have it. That's how you can use Spotlight on your Mac. It does also work on your iPad and iPhone as well. So you can do similar kind of searching in there. And as you can see, it's very powerful because you can add in criteria as well to make it easier to find things. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. And I do have more videos, not just on how to use your Mac, but also other things like iPhone, iPad, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Access and so on. Thanks for watching and stay safe.